So unfortunately, we are about to head to Thailand, so this video will wrap up our series on Hawaii. For this one, we headed to the southern part of Hawaii, and even though we did some cool things, we went to a black sand beach and an awesome bakery. One of the things that deserves its own video, but we want to mention is we went to a green sand beach. It's one of only four in the world, and honestly, it blew me out of the water. It was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Getting to it is a hassle. I think it's a 4.5 mile round trip, and the walk is not easy at all. There are shuttle services, but I read in a lot of places that it's illegal. I'm going to leave that up to you. But I just wanted to mention that if you're in the area, you should check this out. Green because of a mineral called olivine. Olivine, whatever it is, it's beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful place I've ever swam in my entire life. This, this honestly doesn't do it justice. Very close to it is a cliff jump spot that not a lot of people knew about that we talked to at the Green Sand Beach. So I'm glad that we're making a video here. It seems like it would be a good place to wrap up the series. start off I was on the drone and I got to get these awesome shots of Bobby showing everyone how it's done it was a proud older brother moment for me and you know how whenever there's like a sketchy situation and boys are involved and in trying to show off everyone's kind of gathered around they're like yep uh, it looks pretty high yeah I can do that yeah yeah you think you can do it yeah yeah I can do it yeah I just need like 30 seconds to limber up uh, 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 you know what I mean like hi yep yep yeah I can do that yeah yeah it's no big deal yeah yeah <laughs> The rocks look really sketchy, so there's no way up there. Okay. Bobby just went up there and was like, yeah, I got this, and just jumped. Literally showed up everyone, which I thought was pretty funny. It really wasn't as tall as I was expecting it to be. I just needed to get some shots with this camera first. I think everyone thought, like, oh, I was pretending to be behind the camera to go, but <laughs> I actually wanted to get some cool shots first. To my surprise, getting up was a task. There was a ladder, but it was kind of, there were like two ladders held together by a chain and it was up high. So you kind of had to jump and then pull yourself up. And it was a lot harder than it looked. So I did that, it was not easy, and I got to the top, and there were two girls that were about to show up, the guys they came with, and jump off it. And they said they were going to, I was like, that, that ladder's pretty difficult. And they were unfazed, and they were willing to do it anyway. So they jumped in. When I got to the top of the ladder, the locals fishing there then decided it was a good time to tell me that there is an easier way to get up if you just swim a little bit down the coast. I think they wanted to see if I could climb the ladder first. They probably would have shouted it down. And as the girls jumped in, they, they saw that they couldn't climb the ladder and they were Double telling trouble, them to swim, ready? but they were in panic mode so they couldn't really register it. So I jumped in to, to just guide them over to a spot where it's easier to get back up. And thankfully they were able to do it. They're good, they'll be fine. And thank goodness the locals are there to show the alternate spot of getting up because that ladder, I didn't do it, but watching Bobby do it on the drone when I was filming looked extremely difficult. And then after the two girls jumped in, it would have been impossible for them to have made it back up. Honestly, it kind of would have hurt my ego a little if they just did it really easily. I would have been like, man. So make sure, make sure you know how to get out before you jump in, which seems like common <laughs> sense, but it's not that common. I didn't quite do it either. I was like, oh, ladder, we're good to go. So I know how the girls felt. They're like, I've climbed a ladder before. They didn't expect it to be that hard. I didn't. Look at me, I'm at the cliff jump. I'm super cool, got my new... Ah! <laughs> I actually filmed Charlie going up the alternate route, which is not nearly as hard, but you do need to kind of time it well. You can kind of scratch yourself up a little bit. No big deal. All right, so travel tip, if you come to the jumping rock or cliff jump or whatever this is. Where are we, Bobby? We're at South Point Cliff Jump. If you swim a little bit more south, you can get to another kind of less steep cliff that you can climb back up. There's a rope, which we still can't reach right now for the initial part of getting out, which is the hardest part. Uh, you have to wait until the tide kind of pulls you in and grab hold of something and then start climbing. But it's a lot easier to get 
out this way than the ladder. I'm the lazy man here. way. <laughs> Alright guys, so these are the rocks that we're talking about. The thing about these rocks is that you can see how high the water is going up and down. You just gotta find yourself a big old rock, put your butt on it and hold on, you know what I mean? You're gonna be okay. Just watch me do it, have some confidence in it. And make sure you time it with the water. You work with the water, it'll go well. If you work against the water, you're gonna lose. For anybody curious, those are blue-footed boobies on his trunks. The only clothes I approve of that Charlie owns, really. I love them. Not that we have much of a sense of fashion either one of us. God, this place is beautiful, man. A lot of fun. Oh, I, I do want to note, the boyfriend did jump in after me to help rescue his lady. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. You know what I mean? If I was watching this, I'd be pretty salty. Uh, he wasn't a complete wuss. <laughs> With the cliff jumping, there are a couple of different spots that you can jump off of, and there's a little hole that you can jump in as well. Just be very careful when you're jumping into there. You really want to time it with the water. Not the way that I thought, which is like when it's coming up to jump in when you have enough water. You're going to have enough water to not hit the bottom, but time it so when it's coming out, you land, and the current helps pull you out of the cave um, so you can swim away. It makes it a lot easier. Then when you jump as it's coming in, it might push you deeper into the cave system. So just be careful with that. Mind your timing. Charlie did this, but we grew up in the water he was a competitive swimmer for a long time and he's been in the ocean a lot he kind of understands the, the flow of the tide we recommend not doing that fair do not jump in that just don't do it <laughs> unless you feel really comfortable the risk versus reward only you can calculate that it was worth it for charlie i didn't do it you know if i did it and then charlie go find something else to do you know i had the ladder charlie had the cave so <laughs> let's call it even before we start getting crazy start doing backflips and accidentally belly flop and charlie has to come save me and <laughs> we don't want to escalate So guys, this is going to be our last video in Hawaii, unless one of these blows up and you guys are requesting more videos of Hawaii, then we might get back to it in the future. But right now, Bobby and I are actually changing our style a little bit. We're trying to be more engaging and we want to bring you on the journey with us instead of filming it and talking about the journey afterwards. And we're going to be taking that mindset into Thailand in literally about two weeks. So getting ready for that. We know there's a lot of channels to watch on YouTube. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch us and our adventure, and we hope to make it even better for you guys in the future. So next is the Porsche track experience, or Porsche track experience. <laughs> Whichever one you guys like more. <laughs> and that wraps up these Hawaii videos. If there's, like Charlie said, if there's a big demand for volcano video or the Iron Man video, maybe I'll get back to it after Thailand. But if not, that will probably be the end of that. <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned for a lot more adventures coming up. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Either way, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. You want to start it off? Sure, do you want me to start with a quick thing on Green Sand Beach? Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'll start it off. All right, I think I have an idea. Yeah, I have a better idea. All right, I'll go first, and then you can go do the better one. All right, fine. I hope it's better. <laughs> All right, so to wrap up our Hawaiian adventure, the last story that we want to show you guys no. is... <laughs> <laughs> Man, I need a... I need a better go-to cuss word. That's not a cuss word. Oh, dang it. <laughs> frick. <laughs> oh, frick. Frick you. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that is better. Wrap up the whole thing. All right, cool. So, yeah, I like that. So to what? <laughs> <laughs> Wipe the slate clean. Forget what you just saw. <laughs> just hypnotized. You're done. <laughs>